And welcome to Liverpool Parish Church Friday Reflection. My name is Father Bill Addy. I'm an associate priest at Liverpool Parish Church. And this week I've been thinking about the vexed issue of heritage. Heritage is our legacy from the past. What we will live with today and what we pass on to future generations, our cultural and natural heritage are both irreplaceable sources of life and inspiration. So says the UNESCO World Heritage Committee on its About Us page on its official website. Elsewhere on the website, you can see the sad site of the entry for Liverpool Maritime Mercantile City, still in place, but with a bold line through its title for everyone to see, striking it off the register of World Heritage Sites. There has been a lot said about the decision to remove Liverpool's World Heritage status, and opinions are understandably polarised, from the view on one hand that its loss will do untold damage to the city's reputation and position on the world stage, to the opposite view that celebrates the removal of the badge and welcomes the unparalleled economic growth that will come from the removal of the shackles that World Heritage status placed upon the city. Quite what the impact of the removal of the status will ultimately prove to be is only something that future generations of this city will truly know. For me, though, the sight of our Lord Mayor overseeing the taking down of the official designatory certificate for World Heritage status and passing it into the care of the National Museums of Liverpool was a moment of sadness. The physical removal of State House somehow, in, somehow enacting a punishment on Liverpool for not protecting its heritage. But surely that is not the case. If you believe that, as UNESCO says, heritage is our legacy from the past, what we live with today and what we pass on to future generations, then our heritage as citizens of Liverpool is not some abandoned dockland frozen in time and preserved in aspect. No, our heritage is that which we have inherited from our parents and those previous generations that have made this city the place that it is today. The noun heritage coming from the same root as the word inheritance, an early 13th century French words that came into common use at the same time as the township of Liverpool started to grow around the pool and the first buildings placed on the site where Liverpool Parish Church now stands. It is in the inheritance that is passed to each generation that the true heritage of a place is measured, not in the buildings and museum exhibits, although it's true that they help to tell the story. No, the true heritage of any city is that which makes us the people that we are, our culture and our compassion for each other. In the Old Testament, there are many references to the heritage which God gave to the Israelites, primarily handed down from generation to generation. God chose Abraham and promised to give him a family, and from that family to make a nation to bless other nations. Abraham's family was the foundation of the nation Israel, the family who Jesus Christ was born into. As Christians, we believe that we are inheritors of that same heritage through faith in the risen Christ. What we do with that heritage, how we choose to make it known for future generations, will be the inheritance that we leave that we worship Jesus Christ in the place where countless generations have worshipped before us speaks of their witness and of the responsibility that we have as present day custodians of that inheritance. Yes, the true measure of our city's heritage status will not be measured in a certificate, whether on a wall or taken down. It will be measured in the lives of its children and of the future generations. There is a saying that's unattributed, but the one who plants trees knowing that he will never sit in their shade has at least started to understand the meaning of life. Its origins, as I said, are uncertain, but for me they speak of the responsibilities that each of us have in shaping how we live. May each of us so cherish our inheritance that we choose to plant trees that will flourish and be long-lasting. <laughs>